This is Dean with Westlake Pro, and today we're taking a look at the macro controls of Ozone 7 Elements by Isotope. This is a very powerful mastering plugin with a very simple interface. It allows you to throw it on a track and get started quickly with great sounding uh, mastering pro processing. With great sounding mastering processing. So let's go ahead and try out a couple of these presets and play around with these macro controls. Here, let's start with CD Master. I'm going to turn Dynamics Amount to 0%, and we're going to go ahead and just play with the EQ Amount. You will always rise above. You will always rise above. Can never break you. You will always rise above. Can never break you. Oh, yeah. you rise above. Stand up, stand strong. So you really hear that, especially in the high frequencies on this preset. The EQ amount, when you push it up to 100%, gets, it makes the sound a lot brighter. You hear those hi-hats cut through a little bit more. When we turn it down to negative 100, you hear it get a lot darker. So depending on what your source is, you might want to make it a little darker or a little brighter. Now the cool thing about this is that this EQ amount does different things based on the preset that you have selected. So if we were to choose, uh, let's go ahead and choose warm uh, mid-range. Let's go ahead and listen to what EQ amount does on this one. You will always rise above. You will always rise above. Can never break you. So this one leaves the high end pretty much alone. It does a little bit to it, but mostly it's affecting the mid-range. You can also see that happen here with uh, some of these other low ends. So if we choose, uh, let's go ahead and choose one with the EQ setting here, house warmth. You will always rise above. You will always rise above. Can never break you. You will always rise above. So that really affects those low mid frequencies. You really hear it in the voice. So there's a lot of different possibilities of what these macro controls do, but they allow you to, with this EQ knob especially, control the timbre of the sound. Now, down here we've got a dynamics amount slider as well. Let's go ahead and find a preset that utilizes that. Control dynamics. Let's go ahead and start with 0% dynamics amount, and then let's turn it up and see what it does to the sound. You will always rise above. So in this one, when I have it at 0%, it's not applying the dynamics amount, and it sounds a little bit more open. As I turn it up, it gets more and more compressed. Now personally, I wouldn't choose to have it at 100% on this track, but I might want a little bit of dynamics amount here just to tighten it up a little bit. You will always rise above. You will So the cool thing about these macro controls, like I said, is they are not static. They change based on the preset that you have selected. This means that the best workflow for working with Ozone 7 Elements is to choose a preset, play around with the macro controls, and see what it does to the sound. I would choose a preset based on what I think the sound needs. For example, I feel like this track might need present mid-range. Then I would choose the EQ amount that best fits the track, and the dynamics amount that best fits the track. You will always rise above. You will always rise above. And you'll be able to quickly dial in a good sound. So that is the macro controls of Ozone 7 Elements. Very powerful, simple interface allows you to get a great sound with just a few clicks. Thanks for watching. 
be sure to check out the links in the description to learn more about all of the different controls and options that you have. And to hear what this sounds like, we're going to go through a bunch of presets on a bunch of different tracks. Be sure to check out those videos as well. Be sure to subscribe to the Westlake Pro YouTube channel for more videos like this.